Hello and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial on automation and recording. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to automate controllers in the FL Studio environment. Almost any controller movement in FL Studio can be recorded, so that it turns or slides exactly as you want it to the next time you play the song. After recording the automation, you can refine your recorded events using the event editor. If you have an external MIDI controller, you can use it to tweak the automated control as well. Automation in FL Studio is easy and intuitive, so let's get started. To start with, we need to know if the perimeter that we wish to control can be automated. Open up a project, such as the one we have here, and select a perimeter you wish to control. And in this example, we'll be tweaking a hi-hat's pan control. If a perimeter can be controlled or linked to an external controller, a small red icon will appear under the menu as you place your mouse over the perimeter. Here you can see as I place my mouse over the pan perimeter, a small red icon appears under the help menu. There are several ways to add live tweaks to your project, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at probably in the most common way, which is to use a MIDI controller such as a MIDI keyboard. To use your MIDI controller or keyboard in FL Studio, first ensure that you have selected the proper driver in the Remote Control Input menu, which is located under the Options MIDI Settings menu. Select the correct driver and the Remote Control MIDI input. Then select to enable MIDI Remote Control, which is located under the Options menu, if you haven't already done so. Next, we want to link the perimeter to be automated by the MIDI device. Right click on the perimeter, and from the pop up menu, select Linked to Controller. Next, the Remote Control dialog box will appear. And in this dialog, the most important thing we need to do is to choose a MIDI channel and controller to link the perimeter to. FL Studio can automatically detect and set the MIDI controller. All you need to do is to tweak the desired perimeter from your MIDI controller. But before we do that, let's take a look at some of the other options on this dialog box. If Omni Mode is not checked, FL Studio will only link the current perimeter to this controller. Otherwise, all perimeters of the same type are automatically linked to it. For example, if this option is turned off, and you link the volume perimeter, the volume perimeter in all channels will be linked to the same controller, and the MIDI input gets the currently selected channel. When the Remove Conflicts option is enabled, FL Studio will remove any conflicts, such as linking two wheels to the same controller. You can click the Reset button to reset all remote control settings, including mapping, formula, and smoothing. Okay, now that we have done that, I'm going to turn the pan perimeter with the volume wheel on my external MIDI keyboard. Having a closer look, you can see the pan control being moved. Next, in the transport panel, enable the record mode. Then hit play and record your automation. OK, we should now be able to play it back. It is as easy as that. As well as the regular FL Studio perimeters, it is also possible to automate the FL Studio effect perimeters. To do this, you'll proceed just as you would with any other FL Studio perimeter. Launch it from the mixer window, and right click on the effect perimeter you wish to automate, and select Link Controller, which we have already done. This is also true for any VST effect. And that's about it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now have a good feel for using the automation features in FL Studio. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.